can't write it just making sure I'm alive. So we have uh, basically landed on Titan, which is, if I'm not wrong, is the planet of uh, Thanos. Yeah, pretty excited. I mean, I might do, I might be able to see the great, great, the mad Titan Thanos. You know, pretty excited, huh? Fuck you looking at bitch. This is a residential Lots area. of history here. If you're into that sort of thing. Oh, you you don't really want to talk to me. I'm just a nobody from the crates. Oh, it's my job Besides, to talk to everyone. I'm not really good at talking to tourists about New Homestead. If you're really interested in our history, talk to Maurice. He's a lot better at that than I am. You do? I mean, sure. I don't know what I can tell you, but if you want to talk, I don't have anything else I need to do right now. Okay, well, no, not the studies specifically. Like, I get good grades when I'm able to apply myself, but I'm poor. I just don't have the kind of money to be a full-time student and support myself. Even living in the cheap-ass crates. I keep having to take odd jobs just to put food on my plate. And when I do, my grades suffer. Yeah, what? what? Really? I don't know what to say. This is beyond kind of you. I did not have the opportunity for a formal education of that kind, but I recognize its value. You are good to assist her. Okay. Until our next talk. What's a book? Thanks like again it? for what you did for me. I'll remember. You off-worlders have it made. Well, I'm trying to finish up my undergrad schooling, actually. But I also do some odd jobs. Sometimes I help Jay out at his shop, and he gives me stuff in return. Sometimes I help... The crates are what we call the living quarters for... They're comfortable enough, I guess. And no one on Titan is well off to begin with. But you can tell that people look down on us. Especially some of the tourists. It's not as bad as you'd think. I like talking to off-worlders, especially people my age. It gives me ideas for what I want to do when I'm done with school. Because, honestly, I'm not sure I want to... See you around, maybe.
Great day for some exploring, huh? Have a good one now. Come on, there are worlds to conquer. I can't wait to go away on my learning vacation when I grow up. Well, what did we think of the Ooh, I can't imagine Very living important. here. I didn't know about the methane harvesters before coming here. The, um, brown horse tavern, was it, huh? The food was better than I expected from a backwoods... I could have sworn I've seen those silly little yeah, space frog posters somewhere else. Never thought I'd see them here. Pull up a seat. I'll take care of Well, I Welcome. suppose this I'm is Anya. one way to make a living. Is this your living. first time with us at and the brown horse tavern? And if no homestead deems it necessary. Okay. Really? I know. It's okay. There's nothing to be embarrassed about if you've never been. We've got an assortment of food and drink. So, what can I do for you? You mean the brown horse? There's a lot of history within these walls. My great great, the, well, however many, great grandmother opened it when the first colony started on Titan. Back then, it was a simple mess hall that she chose to put a little extra love and flavor into. And now, it's the pride of New Homestead. You want to say, ma'am? <laughs> oh, hardly. The locals pretty much stay away from chunks, so whenever they don't feel like cooking themselves and want a fresh meal, they come to me. Only the tourists eat that junk. Oh, but don't tell that to my husband. He manages the chunks. I love him, but... Let me show you what we have. So long. Tell your friends about us. Hi it's there. one thing to learn Always about nice early colony life. Face. It's another I'm not to sure experience that these space frog it. pictures Down fit in with our town's historical the local setting, economy. but they Word bring of a smile advice. To Steer clear of the doctor here. She really seems to have a problem with tourists for some reason. Welcome to Homestead.
Why, hello there! I'm Bill Starsap of Starsap Tours. Let me tell you, this place is full of history and interesting facts. For instance, did you know that New Homestead was one of the first colonies established outside of Earth? It's been populated in some capacity for over 200 years. Okay. Well, there's plenty more where that came from if you're interested in taking one of my famous tours. So what do you say? I've got an opening. I could take you on a tour right now if you'd like. Why would I want a tour of New Homestead, he says. Well, let me tell you. New Homestead is living history. These people are direct descendants of some of the first settlers to leave Earth. If you've ever wanted to know what that early colonial life was like, this is your chance to embark on a fun-filled exhibition unlike any other. Definitely check out the Brown Horse Tavern. Good food, great atmosphere. Avoid spending too much time outdoors. It's freezing out there. <laughs> Any more than that, well, I'd be giving away the tour for free. I'll be here if you need anything. I don't, I don't, don't need no fucking tools right now, bitch. This colony's a lot smaller than I thought. It Hello there. Welcome to the new Homestead Chunks. We've got all your Chunks favorites. Well, almost all of them. Sadly, we're out of the special sauce. I know, I know. But everything else is still that great Chunks food you know and love. <laughs> so, what can I do for you? Ho, 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 ho. You had to go and ask the hard questions, huh? Uh, how can I pick just one? Well, there's chicken chunks, beef chunks, potato chunks, cheesesteak chunks, cheesecake chunks. I... You know what? I'm going to cheat, if you don't mind, and just say, I love them all equally. <laughs> you will become a chunk if you eat too much. Oh, it's all good. Chunks pays me pretty well. And between you and me, Anya's doing all right herself. Plus, we got this plan, you know? We want to see if we can introduce some of Anya's famous cooking to the Chunks lineup and pitch it to corporate. Imagine. Anya's delicious food in every Chunks restaurant across the settled systems. And people are bound to come visit her place to see where it all started. It's a win all around. <laughs> well, people gotta eat, you know. Uh, but seriously, I think we're just starting to get with the times a little. And I can't think of a better restaurant than Chunks to usher that in. I think corporate just saw New Homestead as an untapped market. I mean, the locals may not eat it. But the tourists love having a taste of home. <laughs> yeah. My wife thinks I eat too much chunks food, but I just can't help myself. It's so good. If I'm completely honest, it is. And people are always saying how this chunks can't compare to the real deal. And I just know it's because we never had that mouth-watering sauce. I've been in contact with some of the other restaurants out there, and they'll give me some. But they say they can't afford to send it, and I don't have a ship, so what am I to do? For real, good question. Now, they haven't said, but I think it has something to do with them prioritizing other chunks over mine. Guess it's made at a different facility than our other food. And they don't even want to pay the shipping cost to ship from another store to ours. And sometimes I get lucky and a cargo hauler passes through with a route that takes them near other chunks and back again. But there's no guarantee. Wait, for real? You do that. You're not pulling my leg. Oh, yeah, right. I 
actually just got a message back from another Chunks before you got here, and they got a case ready to go for me. Just tell them you're there to pick it up for me, and it should be good to go. Thanks. Did you see those wind turbines out there? Wow. There are times I envy those who are able to travel like you. Hello there. Are you? Ah, I could see how that might not be clear, given that it's displayed in the main concourse here. But if you take a look, you'll notice our collection of... If you have any questions about the... Ex Enjoy the rest of your stay in New Homestead. I still can't believe people actually live like this. I guess I should have expected that. You get used to the methane processing smell after a while. Enjoy your visit here. Thanks for stopping by to talk. What can I do for you? Great, another tourist. <sighs> Let me guess, you slipped on the ice and need a doctor to wrap your sprained ankle? Well, that's a relief. It's just frustrating sometimes that I have to devote so much time and energy to outside people when our own people need me more. Anyway, what can I do for you? Your question is, what can I do for you? <coughs> okay, let... Wow, did you get a little boo-boo? Okay, we can treat this. Okay, looks like you're good to go now. It's a harsh world, but as long as you're inside or wear a suit when going out, you'll be fine here. There's no breathable air on the surface, and you'll quickly freeze to death outside without protective gear, but otherwise the hazards are minimal. New Homestead was an early colony research base and has stood the test of time. It's safe, and it's proof that people can live. Don't worry so much. Hmm. Even though we don't have shiny new medical facilities, I imagine we have fewer people here and we're very responsible when it comes to our... For anything else, we can get act. I don't. They make a mockery of new homestead culture. And on top of it, they're reckless. It's like I said before, I feel like I'm treating them more often than our own people. Actually, maybe there is. I have an idea that may be best suited for someone relatively unknown, instead of myself. I've got a mountain of work and a reputation to maintain. So I bought a realistic monster costume. The plan was to wear it, scare tourists away, and start a rumor about terrible creatures living on Titan. I figure that once word gets around, tourism will take enough of a dive to give me some relief. What the fuck? Ma'am, that's a very ridiculous idea, you know that, right? That's the spirit? To be honest, I'm not sure it'll work either, but I feel like there's no harm. 
Here's the costume. I think this will work best on the surface. So just find a group and run up to them, acting like a, with any luck, they'll run. Those folks in Sidonia may be closer to Earth, but we do a better job preserving its traditions. I've heard about lots of other planets out there. Some of them sound pretty scary, though. Off-worlder sure would be nice to get off-world sometime. It'd be nice to get away for a while, but it's difficult. People rely on the farm. Ah, someone new. Are you a tourist, or have you just moved here? Well, there's lots to learn. You can always feel free to try one of the historical tours, or... I'm fascinated by the other worlds in the settled... Oh, wonderful. What's New Atlantis like? Oh my, that sounds incredible. Ever since I overheard one of the tourists speaking about, we hear about it, of course, but we rarely get much exposure. I wonder if I can convince Nathaniel to go on a trip there with me and our daughter. Do you mind if I ask you another? Thanks, I promise not to take. Is the Freestar Collective as lawless as I've heard? I figured the stories weren't all true. How else would you expect people to live together if you can't trust in laws to keep it? Even in a small community like ours, we have... Though, I understand it gets difficult to always protect that out in the vastness of space. I imagine it's the same in the Freestar Collective. Is it okay if I change the subject? Oh, thank you. Are there really planets full of plants, fresh air, and water? read about them it's i've only ever known titan and it's always so i've always dreamed of visiting one to breathe can i ask you something else oh wonderful is space travel as exciting as well you've convinced me that i simply must go sometime most of us here have never left the surface of New Homestead. It's a point of pride among many people, but I've all... Those are all the questions I have at the moment. Thank you. We Titans are hardy people. You'd have to be to live in a place like this. I overheard you speaking to my wife, Mara, filling her head with ideas about... Pay. You got anything to say for your... That's what I thought. Now, I'd appreciate if you keep your nonsense. I don't expect you to understand why it's important our people stay here and keep our traditional way of life. We're going to have to agree to disagree, then. I only ask that you respect our wishes. The people here live a simple life. Try not to complicate. If you need medical attention, see Dr. Lacora. But a word of warning. Shit. 
Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. You will freeze solid without the proper protection. Some of the locals dislike tourists, but I love learning new insights from them. Oh, hello there. Uh, are you here about the brownouts? That's usually the only reason people come up here to talk to me, since I'm the power system manager here. You have no idea. Worse, I'm stuck up here overseeing the whole system, and we don't currently have any... Did you see those huge wind turbines out there on your way in? There are primary... Titan's strong winds provide an almost constant source of power, as long as we can keep the machinery from icing over. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'm a little new to the job, and I'll admit I'm... Oh, excellent. Then you must know how this old power system machinery can get crusted over with ice from time to time. I think you can take a laser cutter and break up the ice for us? Oh, thank you. I, I guess I'm lucky you should. Just be careful not to hurt yourself or the equipment. I'll continue. We used to get more tourists than we do these days. New Homestead is a living history exhibit, but these are real people, so please be kind to them.
careful not to point that thing at me. It's a little weird that people come here to see what early colony life was like. Eh, you get used to the methane processing smell after a while. Take vandalism seriously here. You don't mess with history. Feel free to look around, but do not touch. Not to damage the equipment with the cutter while you're working. Good work. I should be able to take it. Thanks again for your help. Hi. Uh, me? I guess? My therapist told me I should try recording notes to myself as a way to, um, cope with this drastic life change. I guess the goal is to look back on it later and see progress. Anyway, I've been living here in New Homestead for, what, uh, three months now? And... It's a little weird that people come in. Hello.
Did you scare off them? Do you need medical assistance? <laughs> I'll bet they won't be coming back anytime soon. Thanks for <laughs> indulging me with my weird ideas. Tell you what, if you want to come back later and do this for me a couple more times, I'll even let you keep the costume. Do you have a spaceship? I want to get a spaceship, but I'm older. They're so, it's always so cold here. New homesteads. Excellent! Now there's just the map. Ah, well. I know, I know. I gotta work. Tell you what. I like you. This one's on the house. But if you enjoy the tour, I'd really appreciate it if you'd tell. So let's get this show on. All right. So this is New Homestead's main concourse. This underground area didn't exist when the original outpost, Titan Astro Base, was finished in 2130. Follow me. We'll come back here by the end of the tour and talk about the museum collection. But. First, let's go see where people live. Now remember, these people aren't actors. They actually... ...live here, so try to be respectful of Hi, them. Hi, how's it going? While the original inhabitants... Yeah, I can take a couple things. Safe travels. ...down here when this section of the base was finished in 2144. Space is extremely limited, so you'll notice some overflow here, but more residences also exist on lower levels, which are inaccessible to tours. I'll stop at each of our destinations if you want to look around, or if you have any questions for me. Have any questions? So I'm not sure the exact count, but New Homestead is a fairly small colony. What you see is what you get for the most part, except for some other people who live in the private lower levels. Some, particularly security, and yours truly, even commute from other worlds. The original Titan Astro Base had more habitation pods on the surface connected to some of the old structures you may have seen in the back. As the colony grew, the base was expanded underground, and those HAB units were recycled into materials used down here. Sadly, it's difficult to get additional construction done inside these underground caverns. So for now, additional populations are housed in these stacks of old shipping crates. As you might expect, this is where some of the less wealthy can afford to live. It's not glamorous, they are functional and cozy. Oh, sure, I'll be here waiting. Have any questions? All righty. We'll be taking the residential elevator to the farms area on the surface level. This way, please. Let's leave these good people alone for now and go check out the farms. Follow me up the elevator. <laughs> I kind of want to try food from that junk's place, but my papa says it's just a bunch of junk food for tourists. New Homestead's farms are the beating heart of the colony. Without them, the original outpost would have shriveled and died. 
These pods are sealed and climate controlled. The perfect environment for growing the hydroponic vegetation. Some of us are quite happy with our lives survival. here. We in don't need tourists distracting us with their flights of fancy. Well, I could really go for some onions cooking over at the Brown Horse. Any questions about the farms? Good question. It's largely the same, because this was the colony that pioneered the techniques you see elsewhere. But you'll notice that the farms here are smaller, and things here are a little more old-fashioned. These days, it's a mix of what you find elsewhere in the galaxy, but in the olden days, it was all brought over from Earth. It was a lot of hearty root vegetables like potatoes, carrots, beets, and such, supplemented with corn, peas, green beans, soy, etc., which didn't always grow as well. Oh, they are indeed. Colonists still cultivate plant-based food for their own consumption here in New Homestead. It's less vital to their survival these days, as they also import supplemental food from other colonies, including meats, dairy, and synthetics, However, most citizens here take pride in a new homestead-grown, sustainable diet. Onward it is! <laughs> we'll be stopping by the Brown Horse Tavern later in the tour, which uses many of these locally sourced ingredients in their cooking. But for now, it's just a short way to our next stop. Follow me! So, the old bio labs are just on the other side of this building, believe it or not. We'll step on through the hallway there. They're not in use anymore, but the colony has faithfully recreated them as a historical exhibit, true to the original purpose of the Titan Astrobase. Sadly, sure they're nice undergoing some light sometime. renovation. Otherwise, there'd be interactive activities for kids to learn about how they used to search for microbial life here. Dust, but I can still answer some questions about the old... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot to mention that. That's what this place was originally called. When NASA divested its interest in the Astro Base and turned it over to the people back in 2185, they renamed it New Homestead and established it as a historical site. Funny you should ask! Sadly, none. See, NASA funded the Titan Astrobase project because conditions seemed ripe for primordial life to form in Titan's methane pools. They tested many different sites, performed deep core ice drilling and more, yet nothing turned up. Well, NASA defunded the xenobiology program in 2132, but a scientist by the name of Catherine Neely proposed research into advanced colony building on inhospitable worlds. So, by 2135, work began on what would all these very labs housed the computer systems used in that research. That and general storage for the colony. Lots of storage. <laughs> You got it, on to our next stop. Next, we'll be heading outside, so make sure to check those seals on your suit because it's a bit chilly out there. <laughs> We're going out into the frozen wastes of Titan to see what powers this planet. Watch your step outside, by the way. The ice can be slippery if you're not careful. The goal is to keep people out of Dr. Lakota's infirmary.
technology that sustained the old Astro Base. And it might surprise you to learn that the same technology is still working today. The interesting thing about this old colony is that it's mostly powered by clean, renewable energy. You'll see one of the methods used on the horizon up ahead. That's right! New Homestead's famous wind farms! This spot was chosen for the colony in part because of its constant winds! These turbines have been integral to the colony's function since its establishment as a cheap, mostly reliable source of electricity. Shall we? Mostly. <laughs> I I'm sure you've noticed the occasional brownouts. I guess these old machines have a habit of freezing up, what with all the ice out here. There's some methane on res You're looking at a piece of history! Sure, wind power is used throughout the galaxy, but these people were able to make do with it for... It's impressive! That was all... You're right. Most surface wind on Titan isn't too terribly strong, but here, the altitude and other conditions are perfect for... Like many worlds... You're the boss! Moving right along, we're going to learn about Titan's great natural resources. Titan is rich with hydrocarbons like methane and ethane. Surely you saw huge of the stuff on your descent into New Homestead. I like to think they add to the natural beauty of this world, so of course stay away from them, because like anything beautiful, they can be dangerous. Just like my last ex-wife's pet. <laughs> she has this gorgeous, oh, I don't know what you'd call it, creature. <laughs> the guy that sold it to her couldn't tell her what it was or where it was from. I don't think it was even a legal sell, to be honest. The thing was very easy on the eyes. Feathers, all the colors of the rainbow. Nasty bite, though. Wound up in the hospital and almost lost my hand. Still not enough for her to get rid of the dang thing. <laughs> anyway, there's a reason she's my ex-wife. But enough about me. <laughs> we were talking about methane and other resources, right? believe it back in the 20th century on earth they used to fight wars over natural resources like this and petroleum they had this whole moon here basically made of hydrocarbons in their own backyard they just couldn't get to it incredible how far we've come new homestead is home to one of the oldest and largest methane processing plants in the settled systems Every year, UC engineers go through a painstaking, month-long maintenance process. That's how this place has remained operational as long as it has. I'm not gonna take you too close to the machinery, liability and all, but I can still answer questions. Questions? Fire away! <laughs> mostly since this world is so methane rich and has the infrastructure for it a lot of the UC's methane comes from Titan of course new homesteaders use it themselves for everything from generating heat to turning it into breathable oxygen by a modern science oh uh no one's ever asked me that before <laughs> I uh uh, something to do with methane-eating microbes, I believe? I honestly don't know. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, it's not as if they shut down for a month. It's not shut down at all, actually. See, this place is built with redundant systems, so they can shut it down piece by piece and suffer only a reduction in throughput. 
During that time, the UC gets more of its resources from other places, allowing new homestead... Okie dokie, Artichokey. There will be time for more later anyway. So, this next stop is a bit of an interesting one. I only recently made it part of the tour. Fun fact, it's also the only natural landmark on the tour. What we're about to see is a glacial spire we affectionately call Emir's Horn. This colis used to be named after a character in a popular fantasy novel, but it was changed a couple hundred years ago to avoid any potential litigation. Now, what's a colis, you might say? Colis derives from the Latin word for hill, and scientists only gave names to groups of hills on a planet's surface. So in reality, the term you hear more often is the plural, colis, with an E. You probably don't hear it very often where you're from, because it was usually a term reserved for unexplored planets, back when they didn't have the technology to describe what they were seeing firsthand. Because of that, the term is much more common in the Sol system, but you may still hear it occasionally in reference to uncharted worlds. This planet's full of them, though, and they like to preserve that history here. So here it is, Emir's... How about that? You really know your stuff. Maybe you should be the one giving the tour. Ha! <laughs> I kid. I'm not sure. I heard someone say that before. Something about the worn-down remains of an ancient volcano producing ice via steam? I don't know. It sounds like you understand this stuff better than I... According to ancient Norse mythology, Ymir even predated the Norse gods, who, as it turns out, killed Ymir to fashion the Earth and all of humanity from the corpse. It's a fascinating story, and the horn... Just be careful! off some steam. So here it is. Excellent. On to the next. So we're going to head back inside through the methane processing plant. Try not to touch anything on your way. We want to make sure to respect Dr. Lakota's wishes to be safer around here. Ah, that brings me to another point. You'll notice the people around here have last names related to where their families originated from on Earth as a way to remember the past. The museum curator, Maurice Leon, has more information about that if you're interested. You can find him inside the main concourse. Loves talking about it. You'll find most of the locals here are very friendly to tourists like yourself. Tourism is a major draw to this colony these days, and they respect that. Most of them are happy to talk at length about what they do here. Their rugged lifestyle is a point of pride for a lot of these folks.
likelihood, it's important that the techs notice any issues and react to them quickly. Anyway, we're headed into the ice mines. It's a natural spring where water bubbles up from deep below, but due to the cold, it keeps freezing as it reaches the surface. Don't stay outside for too long here on Titan. You'll freeze solid without the proper protection. can I tell you about the ice mine? I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, first, it's an active work site. Second, it still needs to be filtered and checked for contaminants. But don't worry, we'll stop somewhere for... Good question. I believe it has something to do with not wanting to contaminate the water with meth. The ice helps prevent impurities in the water. At least this is what I've been told. Not all. Some water is created as a byproduct of methane processing, but that's usually saved in the emerge. Sounds good. But we have just one more stop before we're done with the tour, and it just happens to be my favorite. This Another tourist come to learn about the ice mines, huh? It's dangerous in the ice mines. I'd much rather answer your questions than have you gone off to it. I'm surprised I still get this question. It's slippery, it's sharp, it can break, it can cave in. Those are... Titan is also full of methane, which can sometimes be trapped under the ice. As you know, methane can explode under the right conditions. It can also asphyxiate you if you breathe in too Can I tell? I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, for... But don't worry. Good question. Uh, the ice helps. Not all. Of course. Watch your step. Another tourist come to learn about the ice mines, huh? It's dangerous in the ice mines. I'd much rather answer your questions than have you going on. For one, new homestead is not, but we also pride our, we don't mind. We work.
for drinking water, and we use some of it to produce this air you're breathing. We recycle a lot of what we use, but we still need a nice, steady supply of fresh water. I'm surprised there's... Titan is also... and also... Is... Ah, so you can relate. It's good to talk with someone who understands the challenges of... The... If I might ask... What... Ah, I see. We used to do more traditional mining like that here, but it made much... We mostly export... Anyway, I'm sure we could swap mining stories all day. Be careful out there. If you need medical attention, see Dr. Lacora. But a word of warning. I find myself suddenly very grateful for our accommodations in the lodge. Worlders always ask how I can live here. I wonder how they can live anywhere else. Do remember that ammunition is not free. The whole planet. People on other planets have any. Stay safe. Can I tell you? Sounds good. We have just one more stop before we're done with the tour. And it just happens to be my favorite. This colony is home to the longest running establishment still in existence, the Brown Horse Tavern. The Brown Horse started as a simple mess hall for the scientists and workers when the underground was built, but it's been operated by the same family ever since. Now, what's a horse, you might say? They were a large four-legged animal on Earth, often used for transportation or manual labor. Long before space travel was even a dream for the folks of Earth, even before antique machines like automobiles were possible, horses could be found everywhere. You might have seen them in old movies or read about them somewhere. If not, I highly recommend looking into them sometime. They're beautiful animals. The tavern's original owner was infatuated with them, from what I understand, and named the place in their honor. The moniker, Brown Horse Tavern, is also a throwback to names of similar Earth restaurants hundreds of years before it was established. That delicious smell is making me hungry. Easy. All the other ones. Anya Seattle is the current, but Anya will be... Ooh, that's a tough one. I honest... You want the real... Okay, then. All right, we're headed to the last stop. Right back where we began. Feel free to check out the museum exhibit in the main concourse here. These displays are full of rare earth trinkets salvaged from before humanity left, and Maurice is happy to talk about the collection. The museum's curator, Maurice, will be happy to talk to you if you want to know more. Well, that's that! I hope... Oh, wow. I, I really appreciate it. You know, I rely on tips from good people like you, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your stay in New Homestead. Perhaps in the future we could skip the extra steps and just set your cred stick on fire directly? Take care! What the fuck, Andreja? 
ah to lay eyes on the earth just once.